Hello everyone, welcome to the series of mathematics lessons. In this presentation, we shall study about circles. Circles. After studying this chapter, you can able to identify the different instruments present in a generic instrument box. Now, how to use those geometrical instruments as per the requirements. Understand the meaning of circle. Construct circles with the help of instruments. You can draw a circle using objects like bangles, food plates, coins, and so many other things. But what if we want, what if we want to draw a circle of radius one centimeter, two point five centimeter, four point two centimeter, or any other specific measurement? Using these objects, you cannot be able to draw circles with specific measurements. So we make use of generic standard geometrical instruments. When you open a generic geometrical box, you can see many things. You can see many instruments. In a general instrument geometrical instrument box, you can able to find scale or a ruler, dividers, compass, protractor, and set squares. Scale is used to draw a line segment and also used to measure the distance between two points. Dividers are all dividers are generally used to find the distance between two points. Once you place the dividers at two points, you can then you can place the divider on a scale or a ruler and find out the distance between these two points. Compass. Compasses are used to draw circle of a given radius. Protractor used to measure the angle between two points. Set squares are generally used to draw parallel parallel lines and perpendicular lines. We can also find the perpendicular length using set squares. Circle. Circle is a closed plane figure that means when you start a circle at one point and draw a circle you have to come back to the same position it's a closed plane figure all the points on a circle are equidistant from a fixed point here you can notice a circle with center o and you take a compass and place the sharp needle at this point and draw a circle and draw a circle around it when you take measurements between the center point and any other point on circle the distance will be same the distance of OA will, will be equal to the distance of OB and the distance of OD OC and all the points on the circle here O is called the center of circle and the distance between this center point and any other point on this circle is the radius OA is also radius OA is the length of radius OB is also the length of radius you can just consider the length of OA as the radius of the circle this circle observe every circle will have a center and a definite measurement of radius this center and radius are not the part of a circle they are just used to specify the parameters of the circle to measure and draw a circle in this diagram we can notice x is the center of the circle and the radius of this circle is 2 cm Generally, radius of a circle is denoted by small letter r. So, r is equals to 2 cm. We can also rewrite this as length of xy is 2 cm. Construction of a circle for a given radius. Now, let us construct a circle of radius 2 cm. Steps of construction. Step 1. Mark point O on a sheet of paper and name it as O. 
this will be our center of the circle of radius 2 cm next take a compass take one end of the compass at 0 and then extend the other end of the compass to 2 cm step 3 now keep the sharp needle of the compass on the point O that we had drew earlier then without changing the position of the other end draw a circle around the point O here we have constructed a circle using compass of radius 2 cm now let us name one point on circle as P now if you measure the distance between P and O that would be the radius you can verify it using a ruler or a scale we have constructed a circle of radius 2 cm the content of this recording is borrowed from Karnataka Textbook Society Bangalore under fair research policy this video is presented by Avari Technologies please do hit subscribe button to get more content thank you